Welcome to Zoom Education. What exactly is a meeting ID? Well, a meeting ID is how we identify all our meetings within Zoom. Any meeting that you host or participate in will have a meeting ID attached to it. We can quickly see this in action if I start a meeting without video. And as you can see up top of the meeting window, there is a meeting ID attached to it. All meeting IDs will consist of nine or 10 digits. And a nine digit meeting ID will correlate directly to recurring, scheduled, or instant meetings. However, any 10 digit meeting ID will be one assigned to your account. Anytime you create an account within Zoom, you'll be signed, assigned a unique personal meeting ID. You can quickly see this if you go to your meetings tab in the application. You can see mine is a 650-783-5673. Now let's start an instant meeting with my personal meeting ID. I'm going to go ahead and start. But wait, this is a 971 meeting ID number. How come they don't match? Well, in order to start an instant meeting with your personal meeting ID, you would actually have to select this option, always use PMI for instant meetings on this computer. Now let's try that again. And there it goes. It now has my personal meeting ID attached. So I'm going to end this meeting. There's another way to actually schedule or start meetings with your PMI, your personal meeting ID. You go to your profile right under here. In your profile settings, there's an option that says always use PMI for instant meetings. If you select this option, it will apply to any instant meeting. Now let's go back to the application and click meetings. And let's uncheck this option to see how this will behave with the client. I'm going to go back and start another meeting without video. And it still took the same number, the 650783. So that profile setting is static. Now, the cool thing about personal meeting IDs is that you can change it to any number that you want. The only catch is, is you must be a pro subscriber in order to change the meeting ID. If you're a basic user, you cannot access this feature. So let me show you how to actually edit this personal meeting ID. Go into the Meetings tab and basically click Edit. Click the button that says Change Your Personal Meeting ID. Let's quickly change it to some random numbers here. I'm going to apply that. And then, after that, click Save. That has been saved, and you can see the 424. Let's start a meeting real quick to see if it actually worked. And it sure did. The, 4, 2, the 424 number is showing here. There's one other method of actually changing your personal meeting ID. If you go to your profile page via zoom.us forward slash profile, you can quickly access your profile page. And from here, you go to your personal meeting ID and click change. Now I'll change it to another random couple of digits. And save it. Change personal meeting ID success. I'll start a meeting to see if those changes took, actually took place. And there it is. You can see it's the same meeting ID. One cool thing about meeting IDs, since they are 10 digits, a lot of people use their own phone numbers or an easy number they can remember. And this is really handy if you're just wanting to start a meeting on the fly and invite many people at once. So that is exactly what a meeting ID is. And it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Hope you guys learned something fun here.